What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we must absolutely stop the false narratives within the sport of boxing. Let's stop the false narratives that's irresponsible and misleading to the actual fans in the sport of boxing. That needs to come to a head. With that said, we now have the team of undefeated, three-division, five-time world champion, Superstar Bossa, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, in Superstar Bossa, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no losses, no draw. 27 big wins by way of knockout. 29 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He's an explosive, durable, athletic southpaw who has an extremely high ring IQ and can box, right? With that said, Javante Tank Davis is negotiating and being negotiated for a deal to fight in the early part of 2024. The last time we saw Javante Tank Davis in the ring was April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he took on and defeated former lightweight, now junior welterweight, Mexican-American superstar, title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, who is now 24 wins, one loss, no draw, 20 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch army. With that said, okay, Javante Tank Davis, Davis dropped Ryan Garcia in the second round, stopped him in the seventh round. Javante Tank Davis was dealing with legal issues. Uh, Javante Tank Davis is aligned with Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa. Uh, he did an exclusive right deal with them. Javante Tank Davis is advised by a premier boxing champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman of PBC. Uh, and we know Showtime got out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years, um, which left Javante Tank Davis' next fight in somewhat of limbo. It's being said that the PBC premier boxing champion Al Heyman is taking the brand, uh, the stable of fighters, over to Amazon. And the first show is going to be in March which they're trying to have Javante Tank Davis headline the first pay-per-view card in March, okay? With that said, Javante Tank Davis, they're looking for Javante Tank Davis' next fight to be against another opponent. As his longtime trainer, mentor, father, uncle, big brother figure, Coach Calvin Ford stated that Javante Tank Davis' next fight is going to be somewhat of a tune-up, warm-up fight to gauge where Javante Tank Davis is since he hadn't been in the ring since April, and then they'd possibly be back in the ring in March, so he'd be out the ring close to a year, and then they'll seek out the big names and the hit list that he had, right? There's all types of different rumors and reports that Javante Tank Davis is going to face off possibly against Frank Martin. Uh, it could be Isaac Cruz rematch. It could be uh, Edwin Dallas Santos. There's a plethora of names. It could be Jose Venezuela, who El Rio, who just knocked out Chris Colbert. It could be a plethora of different names, right? With that said, Javante Tank Davis has been going back and forth with his biggest rival, his biggest nemesis, an undefeated two-division world champion, former undisputed lightweight world champion, now the reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is now 31 wins, no losses, no draws, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, 5 foot 9 with a 72 inch arm reach. With that said, they've been going back and forth. Devin Haney had his biggest, most lucrative, um, iconic fight of his career, okay? The most dominant performance of his career, December 9th, San Francisco, California, Chase Center, where the Golden State Warriors play. Uh, San Francisco is the home of his mom. The Bay Area is the home of his parents. Father, trainer, manager, CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions. Bill Haney is from Oakland. They're from the Bay Area. He sold out the arena. He removed all the labels that have been placed on him that he can't punch. He dropped a very durable two-time WBC junior welterweight world champion superstar boxer Regis Ruguru Progre, who was 29 wins, one loss, no draws, 24 wins by way of knockout when they fought. He dropped him in the third round, staggered and wobbled him in the sixth round, batted him in the eighth round, and batted him in the ninth round, and had Regis' team even uh, considering stopping the fight. 
So he showed his durability, he showed his power, and he showed that he could sell the fight. With that said, there's all the types of narratives coming out and roadblocks being put in the way. Now you have a situation where Javante Tank Davidson, Devin Haney have two glorified sparring sessions, okay? Um, they have history, and this is the biggest fight now in boxing, Devin Haney versus Tank Davis. There's roadblocks. What weight class the fight going to take place in? Tank Davis is a, a 140-pound champion. He beat a bigger fight than Mario Barrios at 140, but Tank Davis can't make 140 now to fight Devin Haney. He's been at the division for four years with Devin Haney and had the WBA regular belt and could have made, made himself the mandatory challenger for Devin Haney, and he didn't do it because they said the fight wasn't ready to happen. Okay? So there's all types of different uh, reasons, rhymes and reasons why the fight didn't come to fruition and why it's not happening now. So you have now... Ryan Garcia stepping up to the plate, waving his hand, and advising his team, okay? Um, telling his team to go negotiate a fight with Devin Haney because he wants that fight next. Devin Haney said, okay, no problem. Let's start to negotiate a fight. Let's make it happen. Tank ain't trying to fight, and Tank ain't fighting Devin Haney next. Now you have a false narrative coming from Javante Tank Davis's team, okay? You have Coach Kenny Ellis and his team now telling people that they knew Devin Haney didn't want to fight and Devin Haney trying to fight now and negotiate with Ryan Garcia. He's ducking Javante Tank Davis. Lies. This is not helping move the sport of boxing forward. It's hurting the sport of boxing. It's irresponsible. You know, Coach Kenny Ellis and Team Davis, you guys know that T Javante Tank Davis is negotiating to fight somebody else in the early part of 2024. March or April, it's not going to be Devin Haney and never was going to be Devin Haney in the first half of 2024, which means Devin Haney is trying to stay active, is, is carving out his own niche, okay, and making the big fights that he can make for his career. They want everybody to stay idle while they wait for Javante Tank Davis, right? Now, look at this from last year. You had a situation last this year, right? Javante Tank Davis announced his fight with King Ryan, Ryan Garcia. Okay? For April 22nd. He announced the fight, that this fight was happening in November of 2022. November of 2022, they announced that they're fighting Ryan Garcia April of 2023. Then after announcing that fight, they then announced that they're going to fight the WBA super featherweight, 130-pound world champion, Hector Garcia, January 7th of 2023. So they announced they're fighting Hector Garcia after they announced that they fight Ryan Garcia in April. They announced the first fight after they announced the second fight. So, okay, if that's the case, Never mind, because remember, Ryan Garcia was going to have a fight in January himself. He decided to pull out the fight. He was going to have a stay busy fight. And Ryan Garcia wasn't happy that they had another fight. And he was one. He wanted that fight in the early part. And he said that Tank said that he wanted a tune up first because he hadn't fought since he fought Roley Romero in May of 2022. And so Ryan Garcia stated, OK, well, then now he was going to have a fight himself. And then Ryan Garcia decided not to have a fight. And then he decided to just wait for Tank Davis. Now, whether that helped him or hurt him, I don't know. So if that's the case, then you can still negotiate a deal with Devin Haney for the late part or the summer of 2024, just like you did with Ryan Garcia and Hector Garcia. But don't tell the people that Devin Haney was ducking. That's a false narrative that's irresponsible to the sport of boxing. It's irresponsible to the fans and it's misleading to the fans. Because if you really want to fight Devin Haney, you can negotiate a deal like you did with Ryan Garcia then. give We, feel, we saw father trainer manager Bill Haney say they want the same deal Ryan Garcia got. So negotiate a deal with Ryan Garcia, uh, that, with Devin Haney, for the same thing you gave Ryan Garcia. With a big guarantee money. And it don't matter what he does, what Devin Haney does before Tank Davis. 
See, they want Tank Davis to allow Tank Davis to have tune-up, stay busy fights before his big fight, but they don't want his opponent to do so. So they want Devin Haney to stay idle until Tank Davis is ready. But Tank Davis can fight somebody and they'll tell the world that Javante Tank Davis is being ducked. False narratives is irresponsible and it ain't cool. It's misleading to the fans. So now don't get on social media and tell the world that uh, Devin Haney is now ducking Javante Tank Davis because he's negotiating with Ryan Garcia when he ain't fighting Javante Tank Davis next. Period. Let's tell the truth here, man. And that's all I got for y'all, man. We're going to cook on this later on today on this live stream, man. At 6, 6, 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be live and we're going to cook on this, man. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. And another thing is, they keep saying, send Tank Davis the contract. Y'all are conflicting each other. On one hand, his team is saying, send the contract. And on the other hand, Leonard Ellaby is saying, you can't send Tank a contract. Which one is it? When Bill and Eddie Hearn reached out, y'all said that you can't reach out and send him a contract because he's the B-side. Which one is it? Man, come on, man. Let's, let's get real and let's make the best fight the best. Let's push for this fight. Let's not hurt the fight. That's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.